What is going on, guys? Today, we are looking at the second showdown card, and it is big boy Rudiger. Obviously, it is Chelsea versus Atletico, and obviously, the winner will get an upgrade of plus two, and obviously, draw will be just one upgrade for both. So, it's going to be an interesting one. You can either have 88 of either of them, or both being 87, and I think if I was to be brutally honest, I think Lamar may clutch it for the for me for this one. Obviously, Rudiger coming in with 77 pace. It's not awful, but you've got to remember, as you do look at that, it is 69 acceleration on the base stats if you do look so obviously his sprint speed is a little bit better this year i do find acceleration being a little bit more important um than all the other years but i feel like you could still make it work he would have 87 overall pace with a shadow he'll have 79 acceleration and also 94 sprint speed so he will be quite quick in the long term sprint uh, in terms of uh, acceleration he may take a little bit to get going but once he is at top speed he will be decent fast really in terms of composure 84 it will be good enough cracking reactions agility balance a little bit on the low side obviously we've got decent short and long paths for a defender cracking aggression strength is up there stamina at 80 is good enough for a center back great well good jumping if anything and then the tackling stats the defending is pretty solid throughout if you do whack a shadow on him which i think is the only option he will turn into a 93 rated center back so obviously it is quite a nice one lamar I think in terms of kind of La Liga, unless I've really missed somebody uh, massive, which I'm just going to have a double check before I say what I'm about to say. Well, yeah, to be honest, you've got Hazard, not really in this game at all. Griezmann, again, for me, he's not a left wing. He is a striker and a striker only. Uh, Cucurella, I suppose, is a good left mid. Ansu Fati as his player of the month. But realistically, Lamar is kind of like the better out of the two in terms of the positions available. Like with, if you look at Rudiger, he's got a lot of centre-back competition. You go straight off the bat with Virgil Gomez. You've got rule breaker Laporte. You've got Ruben Diaz, future star. You've obviously got Inform Walker. Fofana as a free card. Player moment stones. Wambasaka frees. As you can tell already, there is some top-class centre-backs. So for me... An 88 Rudiger would be nice, but I don't feel like he's kind of necessary for the upgrade. So hopefully we do see an 88 Lamar. Personally, either of them, if they do go up, that's obviously great fodder for us, or at least a great upgrade into the club. So let's get straight into it. No trades for Rudiger. Let's see what he can do. Rudiger's already pushing forward. He's kind of left that space, but Cannavaro is going to do the dirty work and come across to get that. Hopefully, we don't see that as a kind of a theme with Rudiger. Um, I feel like high pressing is, is somewhat, not necessarily dead in this game, but I feel like it's made very difficult with that kind of counter-attacking mentality. Rudiger coming in with that interception. Get it out. It's a lovely little ball out. Very, very powerful to try and get it into Lamar there. Rudiger getting the little interception there, stopping Ben Yedder from making any progress, which is always the, the aim of the game. Rudiger watching the middle. So watch that middle. Jonathan Davis, he's screwed it up himself. Beautiful there. Rudiger w w kind of just, uh, what is it, paraded in the middle very nicely. Rudiger watching David. Lovely, and puts the pressure on so he can't find that gap to shoot as Owen finds it. Rudiger, Ben Yedda, lovely, lovely tackle. Whether he's worth it is the kind of, oh, that's poor. Whether he's worth it is kind of like the next question of anything. I feel like in terms of what we've had already, unless you're a Chelsea fan, I just don't see it being worth it. But then again, I, I suppose I have done... Oh, nearly. I suppose I have done worse SBCs or, or more... Oh, no, that's poor. Get rid of it. I think he was actually not playing then. Um, I feel like I've done more kind of like more expensive, but not necessarily worth it SBC. So it is possible that a lot of people could be doing this. It all depends on kind of like Premier League center backs. How, what have you got? Who have you got? For me, with, with icon center backs, it's very difficult to kind of put them in the first team. In the club, yes. Like obviously they will just go in there and then like kind of like float around in the club. And that's about it really. Rudiger seeing it out. Where can we find? We're just going to go with a simple pass with him. I feel like he is a nice defender. Like, he's not necessarily awful. Little bit clunky, which I think we was kind of expecting with the low agility balance. It was always going to be a case of how clunky is he more than kind of like how agile is he. Most defenders are the same, to be fair. But 
he's coming in at a nice price. 200k definitely is, is cheap enough for a Prem centre-back. You can't really complain too much. And if you haven't done any of... That was poor. If you haven't done any of the other, the prior SBCs for a centre-back, then obviously... Oh, he's got Neymar chasing. Then obviously you are looking at a good little level of him. Oh, Rudiger with a beautiful dying header there. Rudiger as well, scoring in this. I feel like that... Oh, get the tackle. Nearly. Name... Oh, it's Renier. He always seems to win the ball back. I don't know what it is with that card. But uh, I think Rudiger, this is one of the first reviews where a centre-back has actually scored. See it out with him. He is a decent centre-back. He does, like I say, does feel a bit clunky, but to be honest, what centre-back doesn't like? There is quite a few um, that have good agility balance. Like I, I personally really rate Cannavaro and Carlos Alberto. But at the moment, I'm still using Varane and, and Carlos. So there is there is chance for improvement still that obviously Rudiger could bring into the team. But for me personally, he's not going to make loads of foot champs teams in, in terms of what I deem as, as a kind of a decent squad. Oh my God, he's just split me with that run from Neymar. Rudiger with a lovely uh, trailing foot there. We did lose the ball, but we still got it back. So we won't talk about that one. But still a lovely kind of straightaway tackle from the kickoff there. Denying any uh, any uh, kickoff goal glitches right there. Rudiger with a big important challenge there into Neymar. Past him is literally the open goal. Manages to make the tackle look sensational. Rudiger coming in again. Doesn't quite make the challenge, which means Neymar is through. But Cannavaro is going to stop it. Rudiger with the second one. Oh, it won't let me change to him. So then if we are looking at Rudiger, obviously, if we just refresh him, just so we know. Um, 200k, not terrible. 207 on the PlayStation. Like I said, in terms of the SBC, it is the same for both of them. One is 83 rated, 80 chem with one in form and a Chelsea player. Should be very simple to do. Um, personally, for me, that one is quite an easy one. Then we have the 85 Premier League one, 60 chem. It, again, it's it's not awful. Like it, it will take a little bit more of an upgrade pack, but I think realistically, you're looking at a pretty standard. This guy's gone with a, a Handanovic, just so then you can literally just whack in 83s. Whether you'd want to do the 87s and 88s instead, like instead of maybe putting in a few 80, 87s and 86s, I suppose it does mean that you can put a lot more 83s in. Which I suppose at the moment the market is. Let's have a quick look, just see what percent it's on. 78. So it, it, it's relatively up again. Um. I feel like it's because we've had no real supply this week. Um, obviously, with no actual um, promo coming out, we saw it go up to the, the upwards of 90 plus. It then dropped down to about, I think it was about 65 its lowest the other day. Um, and then obviously now it's creeping back up. It's just like anything from the market. It starts at literally like 100 and something. We see a big, big down increase whilst we're waiting for content. We see team of the year hit, which I think is kind of roughly like in these sorts of areas. Then we kind of go down again and then it just slowly rises just with obviously all of the SBCs that are coming out. It does take a little bit of a delay. Um, but in terms of Rudiger, I think at the moment you are looking at a nice card. He is in packs, or at least in SBCs, until the 17th of March. So you have got roughly, what, four days to do him? What, for, uh, yeah. Yeah, four, five, six. Yeah, four days to do him. Um, and then obviously the match, I think. I don't even know when the match is. Let's have a look if it's on here. Uh, oh, it's next. So we've got that. Oh, it's on the 17th. So yeah, literally it runs out on the day and then we get the result straight away. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, for me, I feel like he is... He's worth the risk, but I think he's only worth the risk if you haven't done any of the prior centre-backs that I did mention that are SBC-based. Like, if you've got a Virgil, say if you've got a Virgil team of the year and a, a Ruben Diaz, don't bother. But I suppose if you've got tradable versions, he is a nice and tradable. Most people will have Fofana, who is a free card as such. Um, and he is very similar, again, as you can see in terms of stats. Very, very similar to Rudiger and Obviously, doesn't get the upgrading, but it really good requires a win in a match to get that as well. So, whether you are very confident in Chelsea winning that is kind of down to your kind of opinion. If you've done Stones, again, very, very similar um, in terms of player. Ruben Diaz from a party bag. Laporte from a party bag. Thiago Silva, what a waste that one was. Fabinho, for me, is not a centre-back. But if you've got the likes of, like, Gomez, Walker, and, and Virgil, there's literally just no point for this card. Even as an 88, I still don't think he kind of qualifies to be over their rating and over what you could put in a team. 
in terms of Rudiger's generations, we've had a few. Obviously, Carnival, I'm hoping we get that back before because that um, that last, what, two years ago, that was actually an incredible promo. I think it was the first time we saw Neymar as a can, which was incredible anyway. But he's had, he's had relatively few specials, so it's nice to actually see him get a nice big upgrade to an 86. And hopefully we do see an 88 out of him. If not, at the very least, an 87 would be really good for both of them. Overall-wise, I feel like he, for me, is like a, an average 8.5 with the chance to go up by plus two which could bump him up to like eight seven eight eight if i'm making a little prediction with what them upgrades could be in terms of stats that i do think need increasing acceleration is a huge huge one obviously the agility balance would again be very nice to have more because 59 balance is a very very low number one of the lowest we've seen in a lot of players and i know center backs are not they're not known for like a 80s and 90 balance and agility but they are out there so for me i do i just like to know i have confidence in them turning and obviously not losing their balance that's always a key point everything else about him solid tackling great strength great aggression to try and get the ball back and overall does score a little bit of a header as well which you can never complain about but overall i feel like he is somewhat worth doing i personally wouldn't i i would wait for the coins and and kind of go with that and wait for an icon pack or something if i was being smart with the coins obviously for content purposes we are having to spend a hell of a lot of coins on these sbcs especially now we've got no promo this week i can't afford to kind of just leave this one off for the moment and then maybe hope that um it does drop down in price just yet but hopefully you did enjoy make sure you like and subscribe pieces